hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti I create content on sewing tutorials and headwear if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys on how I made this beautiful luxury bubble it is very easy to make I use brocade fabric mixed with Mikado to achieve this style. If this is what you would love to learn how to make, please sit back, relax and enjoy the tutorial. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please click on the red button down below to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. On the table, I have Mikado fabric. This Mikado fabric is actually a leftover fabric from my previous project. Then I have four yards of brocade. Mikado fabric with four yards of brocade. This four yards of brocade, I'm going to split it into two. One part will be for the front bodies and the other part will be for the back bodies. So let me quickly do that. I have split the fabric into two. As you can see, the one on the table is going to serve as the front bodies. From the folded edge of the front bodies, I'm going to mark one and a half inches i'm going to measure one and a half inches and mark it straight down after that i'm going to roll that into a straight line After that, I'm going to fold the fabric for the back bodies. I'll fold it into two. Then I'm going to place it on the line, on the one and a half inches line. Then I'm going to pin it down. All my measurement is going to start from the folded edge of the back bodies. As you can see, I placed the back bodies on the one and a half inches mark. Then I'm going to roll my starting line. Note. All the measurements that will be marking will be starting from the folded edge of the back, not the front. I marked neck width 3.5 inches. Neck depth for the back, I marked 1.5 inches. Then I connect the necklines. From the center back to where the sleeve will stop, I measured 26 inches. You can use any measurement of your choice. 
I measured one and a half inches for the shoulder slants. Then I connect it to the neck width. For the sleeve opening, I measured 20 inches because it is a puff sleeve. Then I connect it to the shoulder slant. From my shoulder to the length of my dress, I measured 65 inches. Then I connect that into a straight line. At the M, I impute my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. I went straight back to the sleeve opening. I measured 5 inches inward. I connect that into a straight line. Then from the 5 inches, I slant it to the M. I make sure that towards the lower part of the bubble it has a pencil shape. Then I curve the sleeve to join to the bodies. Before cutting it out, I added half inch seam allowance to the shoulder. Then I cut it out. After that, I will remove the back bodies and continue with the front bodies. Please pay attention to these front bodies because this is where the main design is. That is why I decided not to fast forward this part. For the front body so for the neck depth i measured seven and a half inches for the front neckline for the front neck depth i measured seven and a half inches then i connect it to the neck with The front neckline is a V shape. Please note, you can use any neck depth of your choice. I use seven and a half inches for mine. Then I cut it out. I move to the shoulder. I measured 
4 inches. Please note, you can take any measurement of your choice. Then, I measured shoulder to my bust point. I first of all mark the half inch seam allowance. Then, from that half inch, I measured 12 inches, which is shoulder to my bust point. I measured 12 inches. Then, I marked it. At that point, I measured 3 inches. Please note, my measurement is starting from the straight line, from the one and a half inches straight line that I marked earlier on the front. Please note that. Then, I marked shoulder to my hip line. 25 inches on the hip line I measured 6 inches I first of all mark 4 inches, 3 inches, then 6 inches. Then I decided to mark shoulder to my waist line. I marked 17 inches. At the waistline, I impute same 3 inches, same measurement that I impute on the bust point line, I impute it on the waistline. From the shoulder, I measured 4 inches. I'm taking the measurement again, shoulder to my bust point, I mark 12 inches. Then, on that 12 inches, I marked 3 inches. Next, shoulder to my waistline is 17 inches. On that 17 inches, I mark 3 inches. Next, shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches on my hip line I marked 6 inches I'll connect all the marks together
as I'm marking, I am looking at the shape. I move to the end of the fabric. I measure three and a half inches. The idea of this drawing is to have a nice figure eight shape. Then from my hip line, I rule a slanted line to join with the mark three and a half inches. The idea is to have a figure eight shape and to make the shape to be penciled towards the lower part of the dress. Next is to cut it out. Next is to cut it out. Please note, you can use any measurement of your choice. Just make sure that the drawing has a very nice figure 8 shape and make sure that it is penciled towards the lower part. So I'm going to use the pattern to cut on the Mikado fabric. The Mikado fabric is on fold. Then I place the pattern on it, making sure that the folded edge aligns together and I pin it down. I added one inch seam allowance that I'm going to use to attach to the bodies. I added one inch seam allowance to it before cutting it out. Like I said, the idea is to have a nice figure 8 shape. Next is to cut it out.
then i'm going to split it into two from the folded edge i'm going to split it into two This is how it will look after cutting. Next is to join them together. I'll flip it over like so, then I'll pin it down. I'll take to my sewing machine and join it together. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side as well. Next is to cut facing for the neckline i'm going to cut facing for the front neckline and i'm also going to cut facing for the back neckline as well I also cut out facing for the back bodies as well. I'm going to iron a stay to the facing, then I will use the facing to turn the necklines. The booboo is going to have an inner belt. So this is me cutting belt for it. This belt will help me to snatch my waist and it will give it a nice fitting in front. For the length of the belt, I measure 30 inches and the width is about 5 inches. Then I will take to my sewing machine, right side facing each other, I will sew and turn it over back. I guess we all can sew belts, so let me skip this part.
I've attached all the panels of the front bodies together and I've turned the necklines with facing. This is the back bodies. I've turned it with facing. This is how it looks and I weave the edges as well and I use emmy gum to iron the facing to the bodies. This is the front bodies as well. Make sure that after attaching the mikado to the brocade, make sure that you notch you notch the curve area and open the seam up and iron it very well so that it should be relaxed. I've also turned the neckline with facing as you can see. So the next thing to do is to place the bodies together from the neckline. Remember that we measured one and a half inches from the folded edge of the front bodies so i'm going to first of all measure where i want my slit to start from which is 40 inches i measured 40 inches from my shoulder so that one and a half inches i'm going to sew and stop at that 40 inches I've sewn it this is how it looks so I'm going to open up the seam and give it a good press after that I'll weave it and use emmy gum to press it down to the bodies I've done that this is how it looks is how it looks at this point I was so happy I was so happy about the outcome because this is my first time of making this style I've not made it before this is my first time and I'm so happy that the style that I imagine I brought it to life next is to measure from my shoulder to my waistline which is 17 inches so from the center front the line serve as a guide I impute my waist measurement divided by 4 I confirm my waist because I've added so much weight so I impute my waist measurement divided by 4 I marked it then from that line I impute the waist measurement divided by 4 on the other side as well so I'm going to place my belt on the line like so and I'll take to my sewing machine to stitch it down after that i will join the front and the back bodies together at the shoulder i've joined the front and the back bodies together as you can see and i've also weaved it it is looking very neat on the inside this is how it looks on the outside so the next thing to do is to sew my elastic casing then after sewing my elastic casing i will measure my bicep and cut out the elastic i always use 13 inches length of elastic then i'll pass my elastic after that i will sew the sides i will end the lower part and that's about it this is how it looks after sewing and ironing please like i always say on my video always make sure that you iron ironing makes your work to come out very neat 
this is the end of today's tutorial guys if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so i upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified i have lots of luxury bubble tutorial coming up and i bet you, you don't want to miss it until i come your way next stay safe and remain blessed i love you all thanks for watching bye